Hello everybody, Tyron Cannon here and welcome to another episode of my Shane Warne Cricket Career Mode. I don't remember what we did in the last episode because it's been about a week since I've recorded one of these or maybe, I think maybe four or five days, actually not quite a week, but we'll quickly go over the match uh, so far. We uh, got two, we bowled them out for 226 in the first innings and then we, I uh, don't think we did anything with the note of note with the bat, we got two and we haven't bowled up to this point in this innings where South Australia are 5 for 92. So we're going to keep bowling. And hopefully we can pick up a uh, a couple of wickets in the process. So let's uh, let's get into it. And there's a stop ball to begin. So I hope you guys are all well today. Sorry for the uh, lack of uploads recently. I haven't really exactly been feeling 100%. But uh, I'm sort of back to my normal self now. So we should be fine going forward. And uh, there should be a stream tonight as well, um, if you're watching this on the day it comes out, which will probably be the 22nd of May. Yep. And there's no fielder in that area, and that ball's probably going to go for four. Annoyingly enough. And it has done. So we're going to have to bowl a little bit wider, I think, to, uh, to Carter. Because we don't have a, uh, a mid-off in place. There we go. Not past the fielder on that occasion. Let's go for a googly to... Uh, oh, actually, we got two balls left in the over. I was going to say to finish the over, but we still got two balls. Alright, last ball, the over. Let's go for a top spinner. Alright, four from the over. South Australia are five for 96. Well fielded. Well fielded on that occasion. We're bowling very nicely so far, apart from that one boundary. Waiting. We just need them to mistime one of their shots, and then we'll uh, we'll be on for a wicket, I reckon. Yep. Oh, there's a nick. There's the nick we were looking for, and it didn't go back onto the stumps or to a fielder. And that's going to be another boundary, probably. That is annoying. That is very annoying. Because you can't really plan for that. That's alright. We're going to continue bowling. This is uh, a very good line in length. Another dot ball there, so Jake Carter, I believe it's Jake Carter, he's on 42, Harry Nielsen's on 11. Catch that! Yes! There we go! Carter is gone for 42, we pick up the wicket nice and early into our spell, and that is a ripping catch from whoever's taken that. That is Marcus Harris, our good friend Marcus Harris, picked up the uh, wicket of Carter. And uh, Nathan McAndrew, the right-hander, is now in. Let's go back over the wicket. That was a ripping catch as well. So we are in nice into the into the wickets, nice and early, is what I'm trying to say. Let's pitch that up a little bit. Oop, Alfie's on the move. He's sitting on my lap still from the last episode. Um, my last uh, career mode episode, if you've already watched that, I'm, re I'm recording this uh, one directly after this, so he's still on my lap. Um, ooh, I feel another wicket coming. We've been bowl we've bowled pretty well, apart from that one delivery that went for four, so we got a nick and a wicket fairly quickly. So I feel like we're in a good position here. We're one for eight from our 2.4. Yep. There's another Nick. Is it, is it worth putting your leg slip in? I think it may be worth putting a leg slip in.
Um, let's go back around the wicket. Who do we take out? Extra cover. We can't really put a leg slip in, so that's annoying. Um, let's go nice and wide to uh, to end the over. Another dot ball, South Australia, 6 for 107. Now 7 for 114, so another wicket has fallen. McAndrew went uh, caught by, sorry, bowled by Holland, caught by Pattinson for three. Um, so this might actually be a fairly quick episode if we bowl them out pretty quickly for a low total, and then we might not even get a bat um, the rate that they're going. We're in the, the South Australia in the lead by 70. I keep saying we because we normally play for South Australia. I'm so used to playing for South Australia. Um, So we just wait and see what happens. I think we're bowling a little bit too wide, so they're not going to play at it. We'll bring it in a little bit. See what we can uh, conjure up here. We just need one delivery for them to play at and nick. That's all that we need. Still at a length that they're leaving it. Sorry, a line that they're leaving it. The length is fine. Let's go for the slider to end the over. That slid on to sort of fourth stump line. That's a maiden, our first maiden of the innings. It's all good. We're bowling at Dan Worrell, who is a little bit of a, uh, I'll say, tail ender. I'm being a little bit polite there. Um, but we're a chance for a wicket if we're bowling in him, is the point I'm trying to make. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Just getting through the overs fairly quickly here. Not much is happening. We haven't had a, a nick or a... Uh, couple of runs in about an over and a half now. We just keep bowling maidens, which I'm not complaining about. There's nothing wrong with bowling maidens. But uh, Dan Warren, just happy to soak up the dot balls. <sighs> and there we go. That's the one. It was a plan to miss, but that's the plan that we want them to do. Just have a go at those shots. And, you know, a plain miss is not a bad result whatsoever. Seven for 122 now. Oh, Alfie's on the move. Where are you going, Alf? Whatever you do, just don't stand on my keyboard, please. Where are you going, buddy? Are you just going to sit there? Okay, we'll keep playing. He's moved back onto my lap. He sat on the desk for a little bit. <sighs> Play and miss. Oh, now he's on the move again. See ya, Alfie. Nice, nice having you, buddy. He's uh, moved to the other part of the desk now. Now he's gone onto another chair, and then he'll be fine from here. Another play missed by Worrell, so he's not really looking comfortable at the crease. If we can keep Nielsen up the other end. Oh, come back on the stumps. Ooh. Who I guess Nielsen is something of an established batsman. Um, although he does bat at seven, he is a wiki keeper. Um, ooh, they thought about a run there. Nothing came of it. Let's give this a bit of flight. Another dot. That's all good. These are all good things. In the lead by 82 now. Wait. 
Marcus Harris has done a good job there. He's done a really, really strong effort there in the in the gully, or is it more of a fifth slip? I reckon. It's hard to tell. Four dots in a row in this over. I can't. At least twenty dots in a row, bowling to a uh, Warrell. Oh, that was close. That was very close. And another planned miss, so... We're getting close, guys. We're getting really close to picking up another weekend. I believe that's the end of the session. It's the... End of the day, actually. End of day two, so... South Australia, 7 for 126. Let's head into day three. They're coming back out now. Well, they've taken up another wicket. We're 1 for 11 off our seven overs. So we've bowled four maidens in a row. Bowling to Nielsen now. He's on 43. Worrell's gone. Grant is in. We've got the same field in place. I really like this field. Makes it really hard for them to score consistently, and we do pick up wickets. Okay. Another dot. Bowling at Nielsen now, so it's going to be a little bit harder to... Uh, Sucker him into playing false strokes. Although he's played at that, so we, we never know. You never know. Alright, another maiden's gone. We've picked up another wicket. Nielsen is still there. Doggett is now at the crease. I don't think we're probably going to be needed with the bat. They're in the lead by 104. Bowling. We're probably just going to pick up the hopefully two wickets in this inning. So I'd like to think we're going to get one more wicket to uh, finish off the tail. Oh, inside edge. Slips are chasing after it. They're going to get three, I reckon, probably. Yep, yeah. yeah, just so just the three there. Okay. So now we're bowling at Doggett. The tail ender, the number 11. Okay. Gonna need some luck here. Because he's just leaving it at the moment, which is fine. But I feel like we're on for a wicket. I feel like we're a good chance. And that's the end of the over, so... Still bowling at Doggett, which I'm happy with. Nielsen's reached his 50. Congratulations to him. Three balls left in this over. We have got them at one, sorry, nine for 157. We just need one wicket. One last wicket. Alright, end of the over. 
50 overs done for South Australia. They are 9 for 157. Make that 9 for 162. We're now back bowling at Nielsen, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. We just have to get him out. That's the only thing we have to do. Is get one of these two guys out. And then we've got to chase down 100 and 120 odd. 118 at the moment. Which I think we're definitely capable of doing. We just got to get those wickets and trust our top order players to uh, get the runs. Yep. He's finally played at one. It's gone straight to a fielder though. No run. One ball left in the over. This is our 11th over. We're 1 for 14. So it's been very economical so far. South Australia still 9 for 162. James Pattinson's come back on. Got 8 from that last over. So they are now 9 for 170. Another dot ball. Yep. It's in the gap. They're going to get one. It's alright. We're back bowling at Doggett now. Which is a task that I'm definitely capable of completing. Okay. Dog it, dog it, dog it. I got one more ball in this uh, this over. I hope it's not my last over. So I do want to take this last wicket. Okay. Another dot, dot, the dot ball. South Australia, 9 for 171. 9 for 174. Nielsen, 62 from 100. Dog it, 9 off 25. There's that play and miss we've been looking for. It's taken a little while to get that, but that's fine. Taken a little while. But it's starting to play at it now, which is good. We should just bring it in a little bit, otherwise I might work it across to the leg side. Here we go. Four balls bowled so far, all dot balls. Go for the slider to uh, end the over. Yep. Whipped off to pads nicely, that's probably going to go for four. The wicket keeper's giving chase, but I don't think he's going to get there. First boundary off our bowling in a little while. And that's all out for them. And we uh, successfully chase down the runs. Samuel Kerber gets man of the match for his 39. And he picked up five wickets in the match as well. And we're going to call it an episode there, guys. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening in the next match. We've got another first class match up against Western Australia. We'll save that for the next episode. Oh, we've got a sponsorship offer. Here we go. Uh, let's go Parmark. Um, anyway, we've got another match at the Junction Oval. We'll quickly check out our stats. Um, we, uh, bowling average is 15, and we've got an economy rate of 2.3, which is really, really good for a first class level. And our batting average is now 176. That's slowly coming down. It was really high for quite a while. 
Um, anyway, thank you for watching up to this point, guys. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch up with you at the beginning of the next episode where we'll be taking on Western Australia at the Junction Oval. See you guys then.